One love, Rastafari. Bless you. I just finished uploading a new video right here and yesterday I made some mango ice cream. Mango and soursop, it looks so good. I'm gonna make Chucky try some now. Chucky, come out really quick. Try this. M ice cream I make. Oh, from yesterday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, super nice. Yeah? Mango, soursop. This is a new version of ice cream. Maybe you should go to Devon House, you know, and sell them some of this ice cream, you know. Yeah. In Port Antonio, make them put over the pier, you know. Cause it's nice, you know, good. Mm, like it. Can make a money, but still it's not all about money, you know. Exactly. It's all about to uh, make the people taste different thing, you know. One day, you know, we can go there and make a display, not for money, just give it to the people, you know. Over by Kenwright Pier, you know. Yeah. They might they have a taste, you know. And then the boss realized that uh, they can make ice cream like this. Cause I don't think they have this type of ice cream. Yeah, I make it with real mango and with real sour sub. Yeah, from Black Hill. Mike for your sour sub. Good. Is it nice and creamy? Super nice. Okay. Cause normally, me don't eat ice cream. You know? I don't even love ice cream. But this one, something special, you know. So I really have to taste it and I enjoy it so much, you know. Yeah, man. Good. One love. While I'm here at Chucky's yard, I always try to make some nice food so Chucky can try it, right? Nice. You always try some experiment, you know, and it work out good, you know. That's why I like that's why I like when you come here, you know, because you go outside the box like me too, you know. You, you don't follow the, the line what Babylon tells to find. You always jump over, you know, and always find a way, you know. So that's why I like be around it, too, you know. Street smart. Yeah, cause you always street smart, you know. Not so much book educated fucking fool you know you always think outside the box and create your own way of life you know and don't follow babylon anymore, you know that's why some german you know jealous about you you know yeah, man, yes because probably. you find your way you don't find a way through the system you know mm -hmm. you find a way around the system you know and the system don't like that you know the system likes slave you know but you are such a rebellious german you always find means and ways to beat babylon you know so sometimes you have to be careful too you know because yeah, you will find ways to trap you in, you know, because German society is really big time Babylon, you know, so they will come at you, you know. But I hope the best, you know, happen for you in your life, you know. Yeah, man. One yeah. love, Rastafari, blessed, ice cream, super nice, you know. Mm. Yes. Good. In the early morning. <laughs> ice yeah. cream in it's the early morning, like guys. Like 8 o'clock in the morning. It's strange. 8 o'clock in the morning, eating ice cream in the field and Chucky Yard. Oh, special. It is special, so people you need to come and check out freelance truck here yeah. when you are in Jamaica. Safe, 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 native, gated community. Even more than Stone Hill, even more than Barbican. Because freelance journalist Simon, his laptop from last night just on the table. He sleep with the door open, you know. He worked till maybe three o'clock, four o'clock, going back in the room, sleep lie down. The laptop still on the table. You can show it to them and prove it to them. That's freelance truck not telling lie. You know? Yeah, they already yeah. saw the laptop. Okay, okay. So everything goes on good at freelance truck place. So don't in no fear about nothing once you are in Jamaica and at Chucky Place. You don't have to lock your door, nobody steal you, nobody treat you bad, you know, because Chucky is all about love, you know, and openness, you know, and happiness, you know. One love, Rastafari. What I also wanted to tell you guys, a couple of days ago where Chucky and me weren't filming that day, uh, Chucky and me, we looked uh, for some land together because I am really, really considering to buy some land here in Jamaica very, very soon, right? Yeah, he want to buy a piece of land in Jamaica and because he realized that Jamaica it's more freelance, not so much Babylon like Germany. Although we have a little Babylon system here, but it's not so strong yeah. and determined and pressure the people so much like big time Babylon Germany. So 
he want a nice piece of land here. Not to do Babylon here, BNB like me, you know. He just want a place to live, you know. Because he's not the type of guy to just have people crawl around him, you know, and wake up in the morning. He just want a land to grow some food and have a donkey. Because he loves to wake up in the morning and hear the donkey, woo, woo, you know. Yeah, and man. some chicken around his yard, you know. Yeah. So it's not all about tourism, you know. So people don't have to get nervous and say, freelance Simon journalist gonna run here BNB and people gonna come to his place and that. No, he, he don't interested in this type of lifestyle. He just want to live simple lifestyle in Jamaica. No Babylon big business. And no, he don't come here for that. He just come here to relax and chill. Okay, one love, Rastafari, bless. Exactly. Chucky knows better what I want than I do. <laughs> Scheiße, I think so. <laughs> alles klar, alles klar, alles gut, ja? alles gut, alles gut. Ja. <lacht>
Chucky just made it back down from his afternoon sleep and now he's preparing the fire, right Chucky? Yes, I'm trying, you know, but, but it, it get wet, you know, the barbecue grill oh, no. gets shy so wet, you know, so you have to go create a, a different scene now, you know, you have to use some cardboard and put inside here and create a different environment for the fire, you know. Total different environment. Freelance style. Real, real freelance, Chucky. Chucky put a big layer of cardboard. I yeah. think this one is already enough, right? Oh, oh. Yeah. Freelance style, machete. Yeah. This belongs to the bed, but me mash up, I break up the bed. Huh? Oh. Well now, I just put the cardboard in the bottom of the car to have the rain and wet up the f***ing grill. So I have to put the cardboard freelance style. Freelance man, give me a call, you know? Which freelance man? The homeless guy. I'm going to leave it up by the top house. Nice. He burn coal, you know? Ah, he do that? He do everything to survive. Yeah, he live under a tree. True. Yeah, good man, that. Nothing to do with Babylon, you know? So sometimes I feel a little sorry for him, you know? Yeah, you need to help him out. Yeah. But homeless people can't help homeless people, that's the problem. Yeah. I, I never get no chance in society to get a job, a 9 to 5 job, that's how I could pay tax. So I have to go outside the box and find my way, you know. So I'm not really a taxpayer. For the system, you know? No. Because me go around and survive, you know, outside. I'm going to have a 9 to 5 job. The government sure. That's you're gonna pay tax. Okay, you have to receive a paycheck, you know? But I'm not receiving a paycheck. I have to make my own paycheck, you know? So they can't take no tax. And I hear people talking about, in a year, they must check the tax return. I don't even know what they call it, so, you know? Tax return? What that mean? I don't even know, you know? Because I don't understand the system, you know? First thing, I didn't go to school. I educate myself outside of the system. So I don't contribute education back to the system, you know? So that's why I'm so lucky I'd never be a slave, you know. I have to find my own way, you know. But the people who go through the system and learn all these bookwork and, and become a bookworm and educated from Babylon, they have to contribute back to the system, you know. Because they are slaves, you know. Because it's what you get, you have to give back. You cannot give back what you don't get. So that's why I don't give back nothing. I get nothing from the system, you know. I have to f go around and find my own way or to survive outside the system, you know. So I have no tax to pay, nothing to give to them, you know. And it's like an Air Airbnb business. They cannot take tax from it. That is nothing me charge. I don't really charge the people. I just take a little money just to help keep the place, you know. I don't really take money say I want money for live and all these things. The money is just to upkeep the place because it's three pants me have. Two. Two pants me have. And four shirts, you know. Real homeless guy, you know. So it's not about money to run me. It's about to keep the place that you can have the light and the water and the gas and an outside kitchen, a freelance and go and do food, you know. So I just keep it that the people can come and have a little what they call comfort, you know. Because for me comfort just wake up and live man. You don't need nothing more than that man. Just wake up and live and come from your veranda and look outside. And look how you look beautiful. Eh? Everywhere green, the river around the floor go straight to the sea. You don't need more than that man. No man, you just need to live, you know. You don't need no well pack clothes. If I'm alone the store they lock up in Port Antonio, you know. Yes, this Chinese people have to go back to China. I would never support them, you know. <laughs> I don't need these things, you know. And that's why I, it's difficult for me in Jamaica with, with girls, you know. Because you, I'm not materialistic. 
I don't support Chinese product, so people not have so much interest in me, you know? No! People like flashy guy, you know? Guy who have a lot of pants, a lot of shirt, a lot of shoes, and fast car and all these things, you know? And I don't have money for these things, you know? Because I'm not a slave, you know? And that's the only way you can get it. You have to be a bossy slave, you know? And when I say bossy slave, proper English they will say the proud, you know? But I'm not a bossy slave, you know? I don't have a nine to five. People have nine to five, you call them Babylon bossy slave, right? Just like you become a slave to religion. It's the same bossy slave these people wake up from Sunday to Sunday, Saturday to Saturday, going to church, repeating the same thing from Genesis to Revelation. There's nothing new. The pastor continues to tell them the same shit every day, you know? And they have sick it and live with it and run with it, you know? But for me, no way, freelance trucky. Wake up and live, man. Rastafari, you know? I the best. But still can't catch a fire, you know? Because original fireman, you know? Keep it burning, you know? And this charcoal, it's good in one sense. And it's bad in our next sense, you know? Because in real life, in reality, you should never really cut the tree, you know? No, it's not good, you know? For the environment, you know? No, we should keep the nature. But there's a way for the human to survive again, so it all got back to balance now. So if you cut one tree, plant five. That means you're the head of the game, you know? But if you cut down the tree and not plant none, you're worse. You're Babylon, you know? So anytime these people burn burning coal, the government should have a loudspeaker go around and tell the people, whatever time they're burning coal and they cut 10 trees, they plant 20. That means uh, the ozone layer is always there, you know? And the sun won't come and destroy the earth, you know? Because when people are talking about God will come and destroy the earth, you know? They don't understand, say, you know? It's the nature, what they live around and not protecting and not taking care of it. It's it going to destroy them, you know? And they don't even understand that, you know? Just like you see the sea going rise and cover the land and take all of the, all of the land and kill half the people. But I see them, so I doubt them at talk about name God. But the pastor don't explain it good to them, you know? They make the belief say is somebody live up in the sky and I come down and charge them for every little thing what they do. But no, no go so, you know? Because I sit down and I figure it out and realize that nothing, nothing could have never go so. It's all me would get catching a long time, you know? Yes, because I do things and say, when children tell me never to understand what I go on, I do things and say, boy, God kill me, say, I know me do it, I know me do it, you know? I realize, but wait, you know, so you can't just say these things and nothing happen to you because true society use the word God. You can't just talk about God and people say, yeah, man, Chucky never do, you know, because he use God's name. And I'm a do, you know. So it's just a shield. That's why people do wrongs, you know. Because when you do wrongs, you can't call God's name and people believe, say, I know you do, you. and I, you still do, you know. Because there is no proof to say God go and just chop off one eye hand and make people realize, say, yes, I him do do you. So, you know, at, at this so the rubbish come in and they mix up. But you may understand these things, just move away, you know, and just live. One day at a time, you know, and keep the fire burning, you know. Look how it goes. Yes, nice. It wet up. And you see it? Just outside the box. Just come to your brain and say, no man, you must can get some cardboard and put inside. Don't put down the coal pan the natural high and can go and take longer to catch, you know, so it, it makes sense all the while, question the thing and think outside the box. But the younger problem still with some people, they don't want to think outside the box. They become so rebellious and rebel and the system don't like them for that and they become a threat to society, you know. So that's why some people don't upset outside the box. They prefer, they prefer follow the rules and the protocol, what Babylon tell them how to live how to sleep, when to drink, when to eat, you know. But no, freelance don't do that, you know. Freelance just live, you know, and just run around and create things and just do them after do. You know what I'm hear there? Yeah, man. Aye, aye, man. Rastafari, one go. Food is ready. Time to give it to Chucky and see what he thinks. Check it out, guys. Look at it. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, give thanks. Super good, huh? 
super nice, you know. You can do freelance food and you come to Germany in your van, you know. Try. Mm hmm Good? Super good. Super. Mm hmm Good dinner. Yeah. You like? Yeah, I was chefing up the last hour over there on the jerk pan. It was raining the whole time. Really, really crazy. Yeah. And yeah, Chucky was just chilling with the cat in the bed. Yeah. Like usual. As usual, you know. Seems like the river can get some water too, you know. Full up more, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. Car rain in the mountain. Yeah? True. But super True. nice, you know. Me like, you yeah? know. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna eat something as well. And after I'm done eating, Chuck and me, I think we're gonna end the video, right? Yeah. Enough for today. Chucky, you finished all the food already? Yes, and wow. it was super nice, you know. We do a great job today, you know. Liquor, this and liquor that and flim, you know. And make some jerk chicken, you know. And some fries, you know. It was nice, you know. Because today, to be honest with you, it's a little bit rainy, you know. N no sun today, you know. But we still can do our thing and create our own way outside the box, you know. So this is our leave, you know. Good. Good food. You prepare, you know. And I say before, we plan to do this back in Ger Germany, you know. Yeah, man. In the freelance bus, you know. In the park. Yeah, in the park, you know. But I don't understand how the police work there. I think it's going to be a problem, you know. Yeah, I think we just have to leave fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> Straight freelance style. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you can't talk to these guys like Jamaican police or really, really, really give them no, a, no. a chance and things like that. It won't work. You can't you can't buy the German police a juice. Eh? No. Well it, well it's gonna be difficult then in Germany, you know. Yeah, well. I think you could just say what well, go on and ray ray and say, what mm, drink a beer, you know? Freelance no, style. Not possible, eh? not possible. No man, if I'm one of them man. No. Then you can't say serious with Babylon, you know? It Ma is, it eh? is. Yeah, man. Boy, them people are dangerous. I don't understand that. <laughs> German law, so strict then. Yeah, man, really well, but, strict. But, no care what I want, we always going to find a way, you know. Because in life, we never say there is no way. It must be a way, you know. Exactly. And that way have to be there. Some way, somehow, you know. People and style, you know. No. Yes, there must be a way, man. No care German is strict and police strict. People and strict is always going to create a way, you know. Yeah. And talk to one of them, too, you know. Pat Pat style, you know. Yeah, when you yeah, say, Chucky, what? When you say, come out the park. I, I don't understand, you know. He say, come out the park. I said, no, I don't speak German, you know. I'm from Jamaica, freelance Chucky here, you know. Just for holiday, you know. <laughs> Checking out what's going on, you know. Yeah. I will tell these guys all these things, you know. Yeah. And have a beer tour. At the end of the argument, maybe they say, oh, you're so nice, you know. You're so sweet, you know. I like to hear you talking, you know. You're from Jamaica, yeah. Normally we don't do this thing, you know, but I give you a chance, you know. We drink yeah. a beer together. Alice Kla, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, Alice Kla. Okay. Alice Kla. So we will see when you reach here sometime next yeah. year in the next summer. Next year, you know? next year. Yeah. In, in the summer, you know. In Berlin, you know. Because Berlin is a very nice, interesting place I want to go. A lot of Jamaicans live there, you know. Yeah. Even from Poland to Tony. So maybe I could boom rush in one of these guys or one of these girls from Jamaica there in Berlin, you know and have a good time because a long time maybe they don't talk even patter or hear patter so we could rock back together in berlin square you know and have a fun you know yeah man we can make a jamaica meet up yeah yeah meet all together in berlin yeah definitely and i remember a freelance girl from west german east germany you know yeah. i met here in jamaica you know oh it's just so super raga freelance girl you know so i Maybe I book her up there, you know? Yeah, in that Berlin. would be nice. Yeah, super nice, man. I like this girl, you know, because she's so freelance, you know? Yeah. There's nothing to worry about with she, you know? What her name? I don't remember her name so long now, you know? It's gone out my memory, you know? Mm. Out of mind, out of sight, you know? You better leave it like that sometime, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, you will get jealous. And to my freelancer, I don't really jealous about girl, you know? I just think outside the box, you know? The girl gone, the girl gone, you know? That's it, you know? Mm. Yeah man, one love, Rastafari, best yeah. freelance trophy. That's it for this episode. <laughs> Guys, definitely subscribe to both of our channels, right Chucky? Yeah, Chucky Freelance, Nature Stay channel, you know? One love, Rastafari, highly best. Yeah, and like the video and we see us in the next episode. Peace. Germany, welcome, we're coming. 
slowly but surely you will see freelance truck here yeah? in the park running freelance chicken and some other thing but we not discuss that yet you know but that is more private okay Rastafari blessed one Smile, but I hate it when I'm faking with you. I 